Uh, while Jinx is clotting, I'll forge ahead. You know that saying, you can't take it with you? Well, you can. You're allowed one suitcase. So we took our props and the base charts, and I snuck in my record collection. You see, when I was a little kid, my parents opened a diner with the insurance money they got from this accident they had. They had to give the sitter Wednesdays off for beauty school, so I'd hang around the diner and wait for the jukebox lady to come to take out all the old records no one was listening to anymore. She'd give them to me. That's where we got Perfidia. Well, I just loved these little guys. I'd sit there for hours just looking at the labels, reading them, watching them drop down on the record changer and listening to them. I'd mouth the words, Hey, Donnie, ding, dong, a lang, a lang, a lang. And I'd make sock puppets and pretend that they were the Ames brothers or the Four Aces. Well, then I graduated to LPs. What a feeling, getting a new record, slipping your thumbnail in the album jacket and breaking the cellophane. We, the guys and I, always dreamed of making an album. We even made these al neat record albums ourselves. Excuse me. Um, the plaids in a blue mood, the plaids swing down Broadway, and uh, the Christmas album, Plaid Tiding. <laughs> Although we never had any albums to sell during one of our shows, we would sell the empty record covers and dream of a day when we could stuff them. It was a good dream.